He's the most successful soccer coach in Tasmanian history, but Ken Morton isn't ready to call time on his illustrious career. The 67-year-old spoke to Brent Costello and says he's never been more passionate about his beloved sport as he and his club eye off a record eighth straight title. Welcome to South Hobart Football Club. Match day is looming on Saturday, the first one for you guys. It's an initiation that's become all too familiar over the past seven years. Ken Morton welcoming his club's latest batch of young stars. And play, good, take a touch, good, take a touch, excellent, good. After achieving everything there is to achieve in the game locally, he says it's young guns like these that keep him coming back year in, year out. He can start to see little four-year-olds and say, wow, isn't he amazing, you've got amazing feet and great footwork. And all of a sudden you can start to see them develop through the, through the ages. Morton started out as an outstanding junior, born and raised in Copley in England's northeast. I come from a little village, not a lot of else happening. So I would get the ball out and start to play in the backyard and moved up to the recreation ground. He was then discovered by one of the world's most powerful clubs, Manchester United. I signed for them on my 15th birthday. The next day I flew to Switzerland and Germany to play in two tournaments there. And uh, that was my introduction to United. It was marvellous. His on-field career took him to all corners of the globe, but he'd see out his playing days right here in Tasmania going on to become our most successful coach. Ken was at the table and I was part of the interview committee to, to see if, it, if we were going to employ him for the job as coach and uh, thankfully we did because otherwise um, we probably wouldn't be in the shape we were and I certainly wouldn't have met him and married him. <laughs> Since beginning with South Hobart in 2008, he's taken the club to seven straight titles. At one stage his team had a run of 65 games undefeated. If you were to go to any other league in the entire world, has Jose Mourinho ever won seven premierships in a row? I don't think so. As husband and wife and as coach and president, the Mortons dynasty doesn't look set to end any time soon. They also run their own soccer school, a skills-based program for junior players and own football merchandise outlet, The Kit Room. We've been to the movies once in uh, seven years, Vicky and I, so that's about extent of our life outside of football. With the little spare time he does have, the 67 year old still finds time for the important things in life. Believe it or not he does the ironing, he's very helpful around the house. But Morton's hardest work at home is done locked away in front of his computer. I would spend a few hours on here uh, getting ideas and then obviously putting them down on paper um, and modifying them to what we can do. His office doubles as a sporting shrine with countless pieces of memorabilia from his illustrious career. The uh, FA Cup ball uh, that we played with in the, uh, against Tuggeranong. South Hobart faces its biggest test yet in 2015 after losing six players from last year's championship winning side. We'll be up there and probably will still be the team for everybody to beat as well. But sometimes, you know, it's got to happen. Somebody's going to beat us and uh, we'll have to move on with us. But there's no doubt it will take a special team to bring Morton's powerful dynasty to an end.